Hey y'all! So today I'm going to be doing another Top 5 Wednesday. This series was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and I will leave a link to her channel down in the description as well as a link to the Goodreads group. Today's topic is best character development or character arcs. And this one was actually really difficult for me because for some reason I don't tend to notice character development. I know that sounds really weird, but like on the list of like aspects of a book that are most important to me, plot and world building are both way above character development because I don't tend to notice it. However, I did end up figuring out some characters from some of my favorite series that have some great character arcs. Number five is a character that I disliked at the beginning of the series and I disliked at the end of the series, but she became significantly more bearable as the series progressed. And that is Juliet from the Shatter Me trilogy. I just really don't like Juliet. She does become a stronger character by the end of the trilogy, but even then I just, I'm not a fan. However, she does still have a pretty great character arc. She goes from being this really, really weak girl at the beginning of the series to a much, much stronger character by the end. Number four on my list is Elder from the Across the Universe trilogy. Now, unlike Juliet, I did really love Elder the entire way through this trilogy. However, he did become much stronger, especially in book two. At the beginning of this trilogy, Elder is in training to become the next leader of the spaceship that he is on. And at the beginning of this trilogy, Elder really isn't prepared for any sort of leadership position. However, as the trilogy goes on and Elder has to deal with situations where he does have to be a leader, he just becomes this epic, awesome, really great character who is really strong and an amazing leader. Number three on my list is Harry Potter. Now you're probably kind of upset that this isn't higher on the list. However, I don't think that Harry changed a ton over the series. He did grow and mature over the series because obviously he starts out as an 11 year old and he ends up almost 18. However, I think that he was always a strong character. Even in the first book, when he was just a little 11 year old, he was still a strong character. So I think that Harry had a little bit more subtle of a character arc, but I still think it was a really great one. Coming in at number two is Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices trilogy. I absolutely love Will Herondale, although I don't think I love him quite as much as most booktubers do. But I do think that he had a really amazing character arc. His character arc is a little bit spoilery, so I don't want to go into full detail about it. However, I do love that as the series goes along, he becomes more genuine and more vulnerable, and I just absolutely love that. And as much as I liked him at the beginning of the trilogy, it just made me love him more by the end. And coming in at number one on my list is Bobby Pendragon from the Pendragon series. The Pendragon series is one of my absolute favorite series of all time, and I also think that it has the best character arc that I've ever read. Bobby starts out this series as a terrified 14 year old kid who has no idea what he's getting himself into. He's constantly being stubborn and getting himself into terrible situations and making stupid decisions. However, by the end of the series, Bobby is 19 or 20 and he has grown so much. All of his traversing through Hala and trying to stop St. Dane has made him into a really strong leader. Bobby knows what he's doing and he knows what he has to do to fix the situation that he's in. By the end of the series, Bobby has grown so much and it's just an amazing character arc. And like I've said many times, this series is amazing. Please read it if you haven't read it. So those are my top five favorite character arcs. Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite character arcs are. As always, I will leave a link down in the description to my blog as well as to my Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I'd love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.